Today is day 27.25 of my instant ramen challenge and I'll be making a compound butter for a Denver steak I just picked up. I'm going to make some changes from the one I made last year. One stick of butter, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, two minced garlic cloves, half a chopped shallot, and about half a jalapeno. This is the instant ramen seasoning packet left over from the day that I made ramen bread. It's like a curry flavoring and I added about half of the packet. And I also had a ton of the salted egg ramen seasoning left over, so I used that as well. Also have the noodles, which is the first change I'm making. I'm going to crush them up and include it in the butter. I'm hoping this will give it a nice crust. So this might be a bad move because when I torch the butter, this might burn, but I wanted to give it a try to see what happens. I gave everything a good mix and then wrapped it up. Even though I've done this quite a bit, it takes me a while to remember how to roll it properly. Once I figured it out, I put it in the fridge so it could harden up. A couple of hours later, my stomach was growling, so it was time to eat. I don't even remember which day this oil packet is from, but I'm going to use it to coat the steak. Going to warm it up between my hands so that it can desolidify. Pat the Denver steak dry and rubbed it with instant ramen oil. Just made sure I got all the sides. Then I used the rest of the seasoning packet that I didn't use in the butter. I cooked it in my carbon steel skillet with some oil. No butter basting since I've got the compound butter and no herbs since I want to get most of the instant ramen seasoning flavor. I just did a minute and a half on each side and it wasn't quite done to my preferred medium rare yet so I did an extra 30 seconds on each side. So if I make this compound butter again, I need to mince the jalapeno and shallot more because the thicker pieces made the butter crumbly, but it still did its job. I got out my mini lightsaber to torch the butter. The ramen bits started burning a little so I moved the saber to a further distance. I let the steak rest for six minutes, but it probably could have used some more time because quite a bit of juices came out as I sliced into it. Sorry if this is too red for some of you, but this is how I prefer my steak. So the curry seasoning came through and the ramen bits were a nice addition. I like the extra crunch, definitely an improvement from last year. 